boy, New Orbit Teller back with another live IG road video. I really don't like showing my face because I'm at work, you know. I can't be on the road too long doing videos, but I was wanting to do this on my break real quick. I want to talk to you brothers and sisters, but this is for you brothers. I um a lot of times we live in this world now. We living in a world where feminism is taking over. A lot of these women have a lot of rights. The rights to say whatever they want with no accountability, to date whoever they want and with no accountability. There's no accountability. Even the president that y'all trying to choose to be in the White House, which is Joe Biden, don't give these women no accountability. This nigga is going to strippers to ask them their political views on life. And that is, that's letting me know that we're living in end times. That's letting me know that Yo, we, we, we're deep, we're in deep hot water. And brothers, we have to be assertive. Because a lot of women will shame us and say that our assertiveness is aggressive. They will confuse the two. Being assertive is being in your masculinity, being straight to the point, not cutting no corners. You, you're just getting straight to it. And a lot of sisters who have that Jezebel spirit, a lot of women who have issues with men, they will, they will confuse assertiveness with aggressive because they are always going from one extreme to another extreme. See, they are attracted to the Pookies and the Ray Rays, those type of guys who are hyper-masculine. See, that's aggressive masculinity. Men are naturally aggressive because we are masculine. We, we show dominance. We show power. But we live in a society where men are being so emasculated that they got to go to the extreme with everything to show their dominance. So women get that confused with aggressiveness. When a guy is being assertive, a regular man like myself, not no thug, not no pookie, not no Ray Ray. I'm a nine to five nigga. But uh, yeah, I, when I was fornicating in the world, I was fucking these chicks like a pookie and Ray Ray. You'll guarantee that. Shit, I was having that. Pookie and Ray Ray type of sex, right? They will like you to be aggressive in the bedroom, but when it's when it's when it's dealing with politics, when it's dealing with the way how a man carries himself in the street, they don't want you to be aggressive. They want you to be a gentleman. Think about that word, gentleman. There's nothing gentle about a man. If a man is gentle, then he's soft. See, that's a fucking spell right there. Those words are spells. Be a gentleman. Fuck being a gentleman. I'm a fucking man. I make demands. I command shit. God has given me the, the right to dominate this earth. First thing my most high father and who are in heaven said to me, said, Ben, be fruitful and multiply. Replenish the earth. Subdue it. What's that word? Subdue. Bring it into submission. A lot of these women today do not know how to be submissive because they were never taught how to be submissive. Their mothers never taught them that. Most of these women were born in single mothers' households or they seen their mother if they were married, they were dominating their father and their father was quiet. He was a gentleman. See, what it takes to be a gentleman, it takes away your masculinity. It takes away your dignity. It takes away your pride. And I'm talking to you brothers on some real shit. We have to take back our assertiveness because a woman is not going to be attracted to you no woman is attracted to a man that is a nice guy no woman is attracted to a guy that's a pushover and don't put his foot down why do women give shit tests you gotta ask that question if a woman gives you a shit test she's trying to see how masculine you are are you a weak ass nigga or are you a strong ass nigga see they already make their they already make their assertions about you based on how you dress, how you look, how you talk, your behaviors. They look at your behaviors. So if they feel that you're a weak man, they feel that they can walk over you, they're going to talk down to you. So you start showing assertiveness, then they try to shame you and talk about, oh, that's aggressive. Oh, you're, you're a woman beater. You're a woman hater. Why are you so angry? Why are you so bitty? Who, who hurts you? All of those are shaming language. When you become red pill brothers, right, I'm going to say this and go. You have to learn to block out all the shaming language. You have to learn to get over your mother issues. My, my brother, Charles, and shout out to my boy Charles, he had a vision. I'm not going to get into his vision. That's personal, but I know he had a vision about me. 
I'm going to say this part. He was talking about me and my healing process, which I am going through right now. And I feel that because I was going through a healing process, I feel like I need to share this with brothers who are in the process of healing. It's okay to have red pill rage. It's okay to vent. It's okay to speak about your dislikes about the opposite sex. It's okay. Don't let nobody shame you about that. These women need to hear the motherfucking truth about themselves. We, we do it out of love for ourselves and the sanity, man, because it's like, okay, we don't have much of a platform now. Niggas are starting to wake up, so we come on YouTube, we speak our mind. These motherfuckers want to flag our channels. They want to tell us what to say and what not to say. They want to voice our, they want us to stop voicing our opinions. Look at the Tory Lanez situation. Everybody just coming at Tory, Tory Lanez. I'm not a Tory Lanez fan, but I'm going to keep it real. I got to side with the brother because women will sit there and lie on you. They'll make a story that ain't fucking true. And men don't have a word in this society. We don't have a voice. And I'm telling you, black men, we have to have a voice. And it's okay to vent your feelings. Sisters, I know you probably like, oh, wait, where is this all coming from? Where is animosity? Nah, it's not just animosity. We have to speak truth. Because as much as y'all women say y'all don't, y'all hate men, we got to sit there and hear that shit. Y'all got to sit there and hear what we have to say too. Y'all want equality, right? So we, if you want us to listen to you, you have to be having that equality to listen to what we have to say. If we got to take accountability for what we do, and I can't speak for no other bro, I can speak for myself. If I've done any one of you sisters wrong, I apologize. And I, I keep it real with sisters. I'm like, if I hurt you in any kind of way, I apologize as a man. But you're not going to put me under the bus. You're not going to keep shaming me. You're not going to put me in this state of condemnation to weaken my spirit as a man because that's a Jezebel spirit. You operating out of a Jezebel spirit and I got to keep it real with you sisters and this is not out of hatred. This is out of love. Y'all women have to know the difference between a man being assertive as a man versus being aggressive. You know what's aggressive? When a nigga choking you to fuck out. When a nigga give you a black eye, that's aggressive. That's violation, but that's, see, that's what y'all sisters are attracted to. Let's be honest. Y'all sisters are attracted to those dudes who beat your ass every day, every night, have you walking around here all bruised the fuck up, but you stay with those niggas, you're faithful to those niggas. But niggas who are working a nine to five, who, who could provide for you, take care of you, and do care about you, you don't respect those guys, and when they try to take authority in their household, you got a Jezebel spirit towards those guys, see, all that shit's by design, I'm calling that shit out, so brothers, know the difference between being assertive and aggressive, you ain't beating no woman, if you ain't cursing her out, you ain't calling out her name, unless she gives you a reason to, you understand, you are just being a man, and they're mad at because you're in your dominance or you're in your power and you're in your masculinity and they feel intimidated by that. Fuck them. Straight up. Fuck them and keep it pushing. Stay on your purpose. Stay on your grind. We're going to talk it up. I got I got to continue my work. As you know, I'm at work right now. We're going to chop it up. Peace. We're going to chop it up. Peace.